2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me tonight, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, reporting from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin. If you'll allow a D.C. kid to be a little parochial right now, while there are some basketball hotbeds throughout the world, Prince George's County in the heart of Maryland is among the finest. A litany of NBA players have come from PG, including Kevin Durant, Victor Oladipo, Markel Fultz, Michael Beasley, and Quinn Cook. KD said, it's just in the water. This is what we do. Guys? Great stuff as always, GA, thanks. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Anthony is out there with Whiteside, and it's Ariza in at the three, the small forward. And for Toronto, Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Red Van Vliet out there with Lowry, and it's Ibaka in at the five, roaming the paint. Going to be the Trailblazers off the tip. Take it, take it. Anthony looking it over. Who's here? Over Siakam. Goes back up. Anthony trying to get open. And it's good on the layup. Whiteside's got the first points up on the board for Portland. Anthony against Siakam. And that one good. It's important that Siakam plays with confidence from there. I mean, when he does, the results are often like that one. And a bounce-back season for Whiteside. Got the minutes he wanted with Portland and showed he could still be an impact player. Yeah, yeah, he showed he's still a monster when it comes to blocks and rebounds. This year will be the most telling with Whiteside. Got a new deal. I want to see if he keeps pushing himself or reverts like a laser play. And how about the experience of Lowry on full display there? Just finding the open man. And God's been doing this for now over a decade. Anthony, and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now, here's Lowry, stolen by McCollum. Here's Whiteside, finish off the break. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Stolen by McCollum to the inside. And that one's good, Anthony. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Anthony's gone two or three from the floor. Ibaka outside. Back to Lowry. Ibaka finds Lowry. Inside. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's Lillard. Oh, right side in position. And here we go. Van Vliet heading to the hoop. That one, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. Whiteside, and it's slammed in by Whiteside. Uh, this is the seven-foot difference from Whiteside. Able to reach up and go to work right over the defense. Here's Van Vliet. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. A shot by Lowry, no good. You know, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should have been easy. McCollum kicks to Whiteside. Alert against Lowry. Lock at six. Anthony left side. Here's Lillard. 
Fader on the way. McCollum left side. This is to Anthony. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Anthony's got six points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. So, timeout, timeout, timeout. called here. The first for Toronto. And McCollum on the floor. All business. Off the court, he's a very outspoken player. Very colorful guy. And, Greg, you were saying you, you see a future in media form when he, when he stops playing. No doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, McCollum spoke up quickly about the seriousness of the virus when they were playing. He's very knowledgeable and shares what's on his mind. A media position after he's done playing is a very real possibility if he chooses to. And it's a completely new group for Toronto. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Eight away. That's short off the rim. Raptors trail by seven. Here's Powell and the dunk by Powell. Oh, up high and down hard <laughs> with that one-hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. Passes to Nurkic. Over to Saul. Hits. Got that one from Nurkic. Now here's Davis. And he uses the glass on the layup. Here's Trent. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. Collins passes to Nurkic. Over Gasol. Here's Collins. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And the game plan is clear. Work the ball inside. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throw of the game. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. And Collins, if you ask me, he has a bright future in this league. His work ethic, his drive to get better, it's infectious. And he's able to get it back. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Gasol kicks to Davis. Pass to Powell. In the corner, it's Boucher. Off target from outside. It doesn't go for him. And so it's Portland in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're playing a cruising game inside, and it's working for them. We've got more in store for you right after this. Greg, we know many guys in the NBA have range, but Damian Lillard's range, wow. He discusses with us his deep, deep shot. When I'm training in the summer, um, before practice, after practice, pregame, these are the shots that I'm taking. And I think when you spend so much time doing it, it becomes a quality shot for you right. when you put the time in. And if it wasn't a comfortable shot and a shot that I felt like I could knock down comfortably, I wouldn't take it. The team seems to support Greg that philosophy 100%. The game has changed. Some guys would rather take a few steps back to get a cleaner look. Lillard being one of them. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at the Trail Blazers performance here, boys, uh, what do you think they're doing or not doing? just cashing in on second chance opportunities that's how they built this early lead but well, it's part of their strategy coming in no doubt and, and there may not be that much their opponent can do about it and now brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go let's reset our lineups setting the floor for the Raptors there's Boucher out there with Rondé Hollis Jefferson then there's Norman Powell and it's Mark Gasol and it's Davis in at the one Here's Nurkic. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. No doubt, Greg, you were known being a gritty, in-your-face defender. And when you think of the most hard-nosed point guards in the NBA today, who comes to mind? For me, I think Chris Paul 
I, I go first because this guy, one, he's a phenomenal two-way player. He'll do whatever it takes to win, if, even if that means pushing the envelope a little bit. Pat Beverly is another guy, just a flat-out bulldog. Marcus Smart, I think, falls into that category. Again, it's not always about being the most talented, but if you bring an edge about you, that really permeates throughout your team. So those are some guys. Drew Holiday is another guy I throw mm -hmm. into that mix as well. Yeah, they all lock in. You're right. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, good evening. Well, last season, the Blazers were beset by injuries, and they fell short of their goals. Their star, Damian Lillard, said, once we're in a better position, I want people to remember how I responded when things didn't go my way, so that they know my character is true. Kevin, we know that Dame grew up in Oakland, a place where overcoming adversity was ingrained. Back to you. Thank you, D.A. So Portland ends up going with the new group. Anthony's shot is off. Raptors trail by five. And there's the pass to Ibaka. No good with the triple. And here's Whiteside. He'll bring it up for Portland. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Kicks it out to McCollum. From deep. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-ups. Yeah, and I have too, which is why they're okay with it. I'm sure if he gets that kind of look again, he's going to let it fly again. Right side, no good. Toronto's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. To the left side wing. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Kyle Lowry. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Kicks it out to Ariza. Back to Whiteside. Feeds it to Anthony. Just five to shoot. Down low. McCollum. Anthony trying to get open. And there's McCollum. That's good on the assist by Anthony. No, you can't forget about McCollum from there. Proving once again that he's not just a jump shooter. Toronto's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. And last year showed that there's still a place in the NBA for a guy like Melo. Mostly a mid-range shooter in the league that has turned away from that. But buckets are buckets, and Melo can still light it up. Count that one. And it's a six-point trailblazer lead. This guy's just a gamer. McCollum, I mean, he really embraces taking on the defense and finding a way to finish. in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, Carmelo Anthony was out of the NBA for about a year, calendar-wise. Greg, were you surprised it took him so long to get a look and get back in the NBA? Kevin, I, I wasn't shocked, but absolutely I was surprised. I mean, it was always going to take the right fit for Melo and the right team. And in this case, it was the Blazers. But Melo showed he has legs left in the league and can still be a positive. Now a timeout called by Portland. 132 left here in the second. Alert against Lowry, a 10-footer. And again, it's Portland converting. Such a smart play. Lillard willing to take the jumper from the mid-range. Here is Lowry. He's got eight. Van Vliet with it. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Serge Ibaka. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off and just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Oh, man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. The Raptors shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. And some changes here for the Raptors. Mark Gasol's checked in for a bucket. And it's Powell in for Ananobi. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Passes it to Little. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Four on the clock. 
The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. They get it again. Here's Nurkic. Nice yet again. And finally they hit one. Nurkic has got six. And, and that's why you never stop working in the paint at either end of the floor. Raptors trail by six. Now Siakam. time on the buzzer beater and so it's portland with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter the